everybody. I want to talk a little bit more about how that system works because cancer is next to heart disease, the most number, you know, top number one, number two diseases in our whole country. Millions of people have cancers. Millions of people have precancers. And then when you look at infections, viruses, bacteria, fungus, candida, parasites, allergies, oh my goodness, we're talking about so many millions of people, it's uncountable. I wanted to talk a little bit about how our immunity works because we want to strengthen it in everybody because people get one thing or another. It's just some of our most common illnesses next to the heart and the, and the heart and blood pressure related issues. So I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about how this immunity works in you. But we have three levels of immunity. We have a physical level that protects us and then cellular levels. So I just wanted you to be aware of this because if you start to get sick, we can pray into it. You can pray if we're with you either on live stream or you're one of our events for healing in the Bay Area, we can pray with you or for you. And it's very powerful because it's how the Lord protects you. So the first level is what we call the physical level of immunity. It's a physical level that protects you. There's an inner level and an outer level. And when I say physical, I mean it's a barrier. It literally puts up a barrier like a wall to um, anything getting to you that's going to make you sick. I don't care if it's a bacteria or a virus or a cancer that's trying to spread. Um, this is part of your protection. And it's very physical parts of our body. One is, of course, the skin, which makes a lot of sense. Um, skin is a physical barrier. Things are always trying to attack us to the skin. We're always in exposed to germs, you know, what people call, which is bacteria, viruses, fungus, all kinds of things. You know, we're constantly being affected. Think of a teacher who's constantly being around sick kids or a doctor like myself who's constantly around sick people. We have to have a protection so we don't take on the illnesses other people have. But none of us want to take on illnesses being in a crowded store or a crowded restaurant or an airplane. You don't want to take in things that other people are circulating. There's an internal physical layer which is called your mucous membranes. Now the mucous membrane is kind of a smooth, shiny surface and it, it covers all of your internal organs, your tubes. For example, you have a mucous membrane in your mouth, like if you just kind of run your finger over inside your mouth or your tongue or whatever, you can feel how nice and smooth it is. That's a mucous membrane and it kind of spreads all the way down, it's in your um, esophagus, which is the long tube going from your mouth to your stomach. It's in your stomach, it's in your um, small intestine, your large intestine, it, it surrounds the inside of your bladder, it's in your larynx, the trachea, all the parts going into your lungs, which is kind of like an upside down tree. So these, are, these mucous membranes are very common, and all of these things, when they're nice and strong, they rebuke illness, they just, you can't get, the illness can't get through. But when they're more vulnerable and they're not so strong and they're more prone to letting invaders in, then these, either the skin or the mucous membranes all throughout our internal body can break down. Then we can get an infection and, and or even, a, you know, cancers can break through. Anything that wants to invade you can break through. They can cause inflammation, they can cause irritation, pain, discomfort, swelling. We don't want that, so we always want to keep up nice, strong, healthy skin, mucous membranes. There's things that can help do that, for example, that are nutritional even. Um, we know, for example, from research studies that water-soluble vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E are really good for your skin. And they're helpful for, for example, respiratory issues like the beta carotene and the vitamin C. Internally, um, nutrients like collagen, Anything that strengthens the connective tissue and skin layer of your body is really good. You can eat a lot of foods or take nutritional supplements that will give you the raw materials to strengthen that part of you. It's, it's really wonderful. You can, you can eat a very healthy diet with a lot of fruits and vegetables, all kinds, you know, whether it's root vegetables or yams or green leafy vegetables or broccoli, cauliflower. They all have tremendous um, benefits for your body, including the, the, these barriers. And if, if the um, invader can get through the barrier, 
we have these cells, you know, that, that are made in our bone marrow that can then just go attack a, um, a bacteria, go attack a virus. And it's just kind of a general response on the part of the body to just, here's an invader, let's go after it. That's kind of your second level of immunity from the medical field. Now, if that doesn't work, the first level doesn't work, the second level doesn't work, your, your um, cells get very, very specific. They have to get much more aggressive because it's gotten, whatever the invader is, has gotten now through two layers. So that's when we start to program through all kinds of things. Um, specific programming of all those cells themselves that I talked about, the different white cells, um, in particular, cytokines like interferon and, and uh, interleukin, which are molecules that help cell-to-cell -cell communication. Like everything gets very, um, kind of like an army. You have all these different parts doing different jobs. And, and God, of course, is the creator of this. He's, he created it, he regulates it, and our body helps to direct it. And when that happens, you literally are so specifically programmed that, that your cells literally are programmed to come up against a very specific cancer if that's what you have. Or a certain kind of virus or a certain kind of bacteria. It's very specific. And you retain, even after the, you know, the bad invader is, is destroyed and gone, we still maintain the memory of what we had to do to um, you know, get rid of these things. So it's a very um, important system and we want to keep it strong. So we want to keep it strong, number one, with prayer to the Lord. There's nothing more important than praying to God for strength, for health, for wellness. He's our number one protection. And we always pray, um, doctors like Malou and myself, very specifically into your brain, into your endocrine system, into your immunity, and then rebuilding all your tissues. We pray into all of that. We pray into the killing of whatever needs to you need to get rid of. And then replacing nice, healthy tissue where there's been any damage. So these are some of the things we do in praying medically for you. At the same end, we, you know, we want to invite you all to, to pray as well, because you can pray for these things too, even if you're not from the medical field and you don't know all the medical words and terms. Pray into the principles. Pray into strong and healthy parts of you that are important for this. Parts of your brain, your endocrine system, your immune system. We want to rebuild these barriers, like the physical barrier, your skin, your mucous membranes. And we want to rebuild everything that's been affected. I don't care if it's your lungs, or your stomach, or your intestines, or your bladder, or kidney, whatever it is. We we'll want to restore that to health too. And, and give you a wonderful, positive, happy mindset. Because God loves a cheerful, a cheerful person. We are his children. We are precious to the Lord. And he is our model for love and joy and happiness and the goodness of the Lord. And he wants us to conform our mind to him. That's right in John 15 and many other parts of, of the word. It's all over the Bible. When Jesus came, he brought a whole new model of healing in because he could heal anything and everything in his time. There wasn't anything that couldn't be healed through the Lord. He was our role model, and, and God wants us to know how to heal too. Heal ourselves, heal others. So I'm going to invite Dr. Malou back, because she's going to join me, and then we're going to pray together. Hey, and guys. I'm going to have Dr. Malou, why don't you go ahead and start. We'll just pray yeah. into all of you a real blessing. I just want to reassure you that it is God's heart for you to be healed. Um, he created us and He died for us. And so if it took Him His life for us to enjoy our health, of course, He's going to heal us, right? And we have seen amazing, amazing miracles, uh, miracles that couldn't be healed by doctors. Like say Crohn's disease, there's no cure for that. Like you're going to die with Crohn's without the miracle of the Lord. But it just happened two weeks ago and the lady listening to our video just it just commented that hey my husband's uh, colonoscopy revealed normal results so father uh, i just want to pray lord and lift up to you our friends that are watching lord and i can't even imagine the pain of just waiting for their healing just enduring the pain lord of this aching body 
you know but the promise of the lord is although this physical body is wasting away um he is doing something in our inner man you know the patience the perseverance the endurance and that he has not forgotten you he said that i know the plans i have for you plans to prosper you and you know to give you hope and a future regardless of the symptoms that you are, are feeling so father i just release healing right now uh, healing of emotional pain that uh, healing of discouragement that there will be a uh, supernatural release of hope and joy in the midst of suffering Jesus is saying in Zephaniah that he dances over you and he re rejoices over you. It's almost God is saying, I celebrate you even in your weakness. And whatever negative conversation is happening in your head, Jesus said that I silence them with my love. It's the love of the Lord that sustains us. So Lord, uh, any immune disease that's, um, that our friends are struggling online, I just pray that you will touch the immune system, the bone marrow that uh, that produces the B cells, you know, the thymus that where the T cells uh, mature, even the lymph nodes that are distributed from head down to our uh, lower extremities that the Lord has created so that the infection is contained um, in our not for the infection not to go in our blood. So I just pray, Lord God, that you will just strengthen all this amazing gift of the immune system that is able to fight any kind of infection. And I also pray that uh, the immune system will not destroy its our own body, that it will be able to uh, recognize what belongs to us so it won't destroy the, the digestive tract or the heart or the brain or the muscles. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And I want to bless all of you too with the most beautiful healing from the Lord. Just a blessing, a beautiful healing. And I thank you, God, because you so love all of our brothers and sisters in Christ who are with us today. And we just want to pray that, God, that you uplift every part of them, every organ, every tissue, every cell, so that they're strong and healthy and that there's nothing that the enemy can harm with them or take down, that we crush the enemy, we crush the evil effects of the enemy in any part of their life, whether it's physical health, mental, emotional, or life issues, and that you all be uplifted in the Lord with the greatest strength, the greatest health, the greatest energy, and most of all, the love of God. So bless you all. We'll see you again really soon. In Jesus' name, amen.